So let's check this out here. The plate is in full. There's no sound. Sit down. All right, the first thing I would say, I'd be careful in terms of your reference. Let's quickly bring that in here because you are using wheels and it's a different kind of sit down. To me, it's always helpful to film reference where it's really matching what you are um, acting out. So the couple of things here, the chair is static and also seems higher than what you sat on. So basically when the character sits, it's not really sitting down like this. It's kind of leaning on something. So personally, what I would do is I would either decide that that's the chair you want to use in a film reference where it's a chair without wheels, or you switch this to a chair with wheels and you can use your reference, but also kind of match the height so it doesn't feel like it's a, a smaller kit jumping on top of that. Just because, and this is fun, I, I like this. I like, you can have a tall chair and a kid and kind of act something out like that. But it just right now, the reference isn't quite as useful as it could be to put it this way i'd also be careful with something that's this long it's a bit like your walk is a bit stiff there's some poppy aspects but the main thing is that the feet are sliding what i would do is personally i would go maybe from here on so you can take a step forward turn and then sit down and just focus on that and if you're okay with all that this all works you can always go backwards and add more to it because right now, it's just, again, it's, it's a bit choppy. It's kind of like a, if you look at the spacing of things where even this, like you rukus forward, but then kind of locks in place for that pivot. And then suddenly moves forward again. And then it's kind of okay, but then it has a very sharp drop. So the main thing is that you want to look at the timing and spacing for that, for the sit down to give us enough weight. But because the chair is so high, there won't be as much time. So for me, a sit-down assignment is good in terms of if that's the chair and that's the ground and character is like this, like there's enough time or, or, or distance for the character to actually sit down, right? So if you have the character and then it starts to, uh, to lean over, is that there's enough time for the character to actually drop where it's slightly off balance and then dropping on the chair to show weight, which is a bit trickier here and there's different mechanics with all this. But the main thing would be avoiding things where you have spacing like this where it goes down and then kind of slides forward like the whole character and then goes back up and then really pops to the left so i think the reason why i want to or i suggest that you simplify this from this to just a sit down is to really work on the planting of the feet there's no sliding but also proper spacing so we can get to see the weight and kind of the weight transfer and the balance of this character because right now it feels like everything is very jittery even once the character is on there, you can see how all that movement there. I don't know if that's kind of like a, a like a, a like wiggling on purpose. Character getting kind of comfortable on the chair. So again, that's not quite what the reference is doing. So I'm just kind of I'm also slightly confused like which direction you want to go with something like that or what you filmed in the reference. Other than that, I'm gonna leave it at that because I feel like it's going to be a bigger change. So let me know what you think. Again, I would suggest something shorter to get all the the proper mechanics done but then really deciding in your reference is this what you want to do or are you going to animate towards the reference that you you film because it's fun to do a chair with wheels and sitting down and rolling this is all very cool just kind of depends on what you want to do so I, I would check for a a clear direction on your ends and then go from there but the main thing to me is that in this case sliding feet it's always a big thing when a character's walking but just simplify things so we can take a bigger better look at your spacing and avoid things like these like the the sliding aspect and just kind of poppy animation like this here okay hope that makes sense i'm going to leave it there let me know we can always kind of go back and forth with emails in terms of planning so we don't have to go into full submissions uh, but that's that all right thanks all right there's an email, you can sign up, you can start whenever you want, you can submit whenever you want, you get 16 submissions. Either way, a like and subscribe would be awesome. All right, thank you.